So this next one is the team or group event. Yep. So this one doesn't go towards your individual score. It goes towards a team score and they put all the teams or squads against one another. They're being kind of tight lipped about it. I suspect there's some team prize. I don't know what. You get to run it twice, and the best of your two times is the one that, that is your score. Winning team gets a shoot-off, and they get to redo all the stages for better times. All, in fact, stage six. You get to do stage six six times. Awesome. Okay. So how this works is uh, they're, all your rifles are on a table, and they are all condition three. Magazine inserted, bolt closed, empty chamber. Safety on. Uh, everybody's sitting on a bench, and the first guy runs up, grabs his rifle, charges it, and engages four B-zone targets, they're called, and then two rifle plates. Yep, there's 24 rifle plates total. Ditches his rifle, runs back, tags the next guy. They often be have buns on wood was the definition. Next guy runs up, grabs his rifle, does that. Four B-zones, two plates. They keep going in a circle. The first guy gets to shoot twice. Well, the standard squads have 12 people. Yeah. Our squad has one guy who has dropped out because he twisted his ankle. So I got to shoot twice. So I was the first and the last. Yep. Once the last guy shoots the rifle, he tags them. Everybody runs up, grabs their pistols off of another table, and just absolutely gang bangs the hell out of this like melee of paper uh, of steel targets. Steel. Spinners, like three different types of spinners, and a pile of falling plates. Irish plates, falling plates, spinners. It's just it's just a uh, and then it's over. Yep. So that's what we're gonna do, and let's see how that goes.
Will. Wrong gun. Alright, so the team thing was kind of fun. It was really more a fun thing than it was. I'm more interested in the individual stages. Uh, we did run it twice. The second time we shaved off about 30 seconds. Yeah, we did it in, I think, 219. 219, which we're time. finding out is actually one of the better squad scores. Yeah. Not the best. We already know there's another squad at 192. What it was, though, was a nice break away from the stages that were kind of physically beating you up. And you just had to get the blow off a little steam and have some fun. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. That's what it was. But it does build camaraderie. That's true. And tagging each other's hands and shooting as a squad really builds that friendship. And they really are running this uh, in a way that is camaraderie building. Yeah. This, it, uh, some three-gun events, not all, and Hard as Hell is definitely one of the different ones. And Hard as Hell 2-Gun fulfills this niche as well, is that they really want the spirit to be here. In fact, something we, we've discussed, we talked to the, the guy running the match. There is, in fact, a 300-second lay-mass penalty, which is assessed at the match director's prerogative for doing things that you just look at and go, oh, that's lay-mass. Like, like, for example, I'm not going to engage that target. I shoot one at it and run away. Strategically giving up on a target because it gives you a better score. Lame ass penalty. Another example who we won't name, but this just gives you an idea of the vibe. He forgot to bring one of his packs with him. He had most of his stuff on for Trooper. Right. He's in Trooper. He had everything on but one pack. And then he shot the stage, didn't realize it. And he went, oh, dude, I, I forgot to drop this. out of Trooper now. By the way, this was his first time shooting. Yep. And he went up to the match director. He said, Ken, I uh, forgot this pack. I guess I have to fall out of Trooper. And Ken said, did it affect you on the stage? Do you think that you would have done better or worse without with it on? And he's like, well, I timed out anyway. And it was a totally flat stage that was basically long-range rifle. And, and, and Ken looked at him and he goes, in the spirit of what this is, the first one's free. So he pretty much got off the hook for that. It was because he was honest about it. Yeah, honest, and it wasn't going to really impact First anything. of all, he didn't finish the stage anyway. Right. So there was no need to penalize him and throw him out of his division. And they want to have that spirit of camaraderie and have this to boost everyone up. Yep. And I think that these, one thing that this Southern Utah Practical Shooting Center does and the guys here do is they do that very well. Yeah, it's a really awesome vibe. There are some, you know, I don't even see them very often, but I know they're out there. They're really nitpicky, uber competitive, as in I will win by pushing everybody else down. Yes. That sort of, that's not here. No, it's not here at all. I will win because I did well, and I will help you do your best to almost beat me. Right. That's what this is. Yeah. I have been to many ranges, and I won't mention them because we don't need to, where it is such an unpleasant experience. There are literally people saying, your foot was, um, when you put your foot on the fault line, the edge of your shoe touched the ground. That's a, that's a, that's a five-second uh, yeah. procedural. And then they will go look at film and go, oh, yeah, yeah, that's five seconds. I mean, that as kind opposed, of... As opposed to here, other people on your squad are helping call your shots on the long range. And that is something that is very two-gun. That's what yeah. we're trying to encourage in Tucson. But the hard as hell three-gun and the two-gun both have that same culture. Yep. And that's what we want to help and support. I, I think the physicality brings some of that into it. Yeah. Because everyone, we said this before, everyone's suffering together you have builds to, bonds. You have to respect people who can pull through these stages. One of the new guys said to me, he goes, he goes, I don't care where I place. I just want to finish. And I go, you'll finish. And he's like, I'm not sure. He's going to finish. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's move on All to right, our next yes. stage.